to make vegetarian uh, cabbage uh, capusta taster. Cabbage braise and I cook it the uh, pasta here. I can make my own, but easier to buy this one. I boil in a salty water. And when the cabbage is ready, I show you exactly how it is. Now I'm going to grate half a cabbage. Look how much coming out of plenty. Must be grated. And I got the oil already on the stove. About table, two tablespoons. It's very easy, very cheap. Not even six rand this uh, cabbage. Only the pasta and your tongue, the cooking and that. I like this cooking. This is a, my childhood. Uh, I remember my mom used to cook for us. We don't have meat every day. So we just have some vegetarian food. It's quite tasty. And we have lots of cabbage here, so we can use it for different ways. Now the big pieces I keep it for the monkeys. <laughs> the monkeys come into my garden. It's very really simple dish. Lots of my English friends they say, oh this is so nice, you know. But it's just a simple dish. This for the monkeys. Okay. Here we are. I don't put salt on now, I put the salt on when I braise it. I have oil already in my stove, about three tablespoons, but I don't put oil on my pasta, so this is going to be golden color, must be golden color. This is just a simple dish, people who poor haven't got money for meat. They can cook it. They, you can eat a different kind of pasta. I just sit on my stove, take a bit time. Oh yes, and I put a bit of salt on. There's my salt. Let's put salt on. Must not be too much. Now when it's going to be golden color, let's see later. My cabbage is nearly ready. My water is going to boil. Very quick meal. If you've got children and hungry, make them quick meal with the cabbage. And any cost all right. A flat one is nice. Tell you, tell you they call. This is a very good now. Some people put a ground black pepper in different flavor. And in Europe, some people doing a square pasta, homemade pasta. I also used to do the flat pasta, but my arm is so, so I just make a Italian pasta. My butter is boiling just now, I'm cooking just now. When it's finished, I show you how it looks like. Some gravy. Maybe done. Let's switch it off now. So, off. Perfect. It's just right. Enough salt on. Because I still cook them pasta in a salty water. Now take it off. There we are. Not with the carpal starch taste, but cabbage with the noodle. Okay. I'm just waiting the pasta to cook. Even my doggy coming, what do you want, Lisa? You want some meat? You're only cooking soup for you. <laughs> Look at it. Are we looking? <laughs> now my butter is boiling, salty butter. I put a pasta in and take about eight minutes to cook. I'll have to taste it when it's soft. Okay. And after I mix it with the cabbage, that's all. Very simple. You can make different kind of pasta if you like. Flat one. I like this one, first time I tried with this. Okay. Take other eight minutes to cook, so see you later when we finish cooking. Won't take long. 
Okay, my pasta is ready cooked. And I'm going to spread, putting in a cabbage, what I already braised. I'm not changing anything, just I put it in the same, you see, not wash it, nothing. I'm just going to mix it this now. Very simple dish. And the children love it this. My children always like it. In Europe, we used to make this one. Look at how lovely. 500 grams. I don't even cook it a whole lot pasta, eh? Hey? Italian pasta, called a ribbon pasta. I think hope I keep it for the soup. I didn't cook a whole pocket, 500 grams. And you can see it's very swollen up. It's quite a lot. And the cabbage, only half a cabbage. Can you imagine how cheap meal, if you think about it, eh? Just a cabbage with the ribbon. Or with the tagliatella. You can make it with the tagliatella. You can make lots of things with cabbage, if you know how to do it. I'm sorry, I just show this simple food. I put it in a plate. Okay, I'm tasting my cabbage pasta. It's really nice. Mm. I hope somebody trying out this. Because you can't eat meat all the time. 